Hello you, welcome back to Everfilm Stars. Let's check out 25 lesbian Hollywood couples and what they're up to in 2023. Starting with Jodie Foster and Alexandra Hedison, who got married in 2014 after dating for a little over a year. When Foster officially came out in 2007, she was in a relationship with Sidney Bernard, with whom she shares two sons. Now Foster and Hedison are heartthrobs who prefer to keep their relationship fairly private, and it seems to be working well. Cynthia Nixon and Christine Marinoni met each other at a gay rights rally in 2001. At the time, Nixon had a husband named Danny Moses. Nixon and Marinoni then became close friends and eventually started dating after Nixon finalized her divorce in 2003. In 2009, they got engaged at a same-sex marriage rally. They now share a son together. Sweet! But maybe not as sweet as Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi, an iconic lesbian power couple who embody a perfect blend of femme and butch. Since their marriage in 2008, they have enjoyed immense success, owning a stunning $45 million estate and more. Even during challenging times, they stick together. That's kind of inspiring, don't you think? One of the best lesbian celebrity couples ever. Up next is Haley Kiyoko and Becca Tilly, who revealed their relationship to the world in 2022. However, the couple had been dating since 2018, keeping their romance private until the big reveal. Although they prefer to keep their relationship details private, Tilly couldn't help but gush about Kyoko on her podcast, saying Kyoko has had a profound impact on her life. Wanda Sykes has been happily married to her longtime partner Alex Sykes since 2008, showing that lesbian power couples can have lasting marriages. They are proud parents of fraternal twins, with Alex giving birth to the children. Wanda's conservative parents didn't accept their daughter's sexuality at first, even going as far as not attending her wedding, but they've since come around. Know who else came around? Kristen Stewart. She was known for her ultra-private nature, but she became more open about her love life after meeting screenwriter Dylan Meyer in 2019. In a 2020 interview, Stewart expressed how meeting Dylan felt like fate, as they had been living parallel lives in LA without crossing paths. In 2022, Stewart confirmed that they were going to get married. Ariana DeBose and Sue Maku Costume designer Sue Maku and the Academy Award-winning actress Ariana DeBose crossed paths while collaborating on the production of Summer, the Donna Summer musical in 2018. Their relationship quickly gained attention, especially after DeBose's success at the Oscars, which she won Best Supporting Actress for her role in West Side Story. To celebrate the achievement, Maku expressed her gratitude to the Academy for recognizing DeBose's talent. Lauren Morelli, the head writer of Orange is the New Black, had a significant realization about her sexuality while working on the show. Through the writing process, she came to the realization that she was a lesbian, which led to an amicable divorce from her husband in 2014. Soon after, she began dating Samira Wiley, who portrayed Poussey on the show. Actress Sarah Paulson, 44, and Holland Taylor, 76, have garnered attention for their age gap but their love and genuine affection for each other are what truly stand out. They have been in a loving relationship since 2015, which started when Paulson reached out to Taylor on Twitter. Despite belonging to different generations, they embrace their differences and are willing to learn and grow together. Fiona Shaw and Sonali Deraniagala In 2018, actress Fiona Shaw married Dr. Sonali Deraniagala, an economist and Sri Lankan memoirist. The couple's connection began when Shaw read Sonali's heartbreaking story of losing her children, husband, and parents in the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Shaw deeply admires Sonali's resilience, acknowledges that she is married to an extraordinary person, and feels fortunate to have found someone like Sonali. Up next is Stephanie Allen and Tig Nataro. Comedian Nataro's Netflix documentary about beating cancer has a heartwarming ending, thanks to her marriage to Allen. After facing challenges trying to start a family, they are now overjoyed as they are expecting twins, affectionately nicknamed Itsy and Bitsy. Their journey has been filled with hope and happiness, bringing a beautiful conclusion to the documentary. Jojo Siwa and Kylie Pru Jojo Siwa came out in early 2021 and has since made headlines for her exuberant love for her new partner, Kylie Pru. Despite being in a long-distance relationship, they frequently share delightful photos of their moments together on Instagram. 
Siwa hasn't specifically labeled her sexual orientation, but she playfully refers to herself as Kai-sexual, as a pun to her girlfriend's name. Adorable. Ellen Page had been in the closet for quite some time, until last year when she came out with a heartwarming and inspiring speech. In an interview, she openly shared her relationship with surfer-slash-artist Samantha Thomas. Being able to love someone openly and freely, to hold hands while walking down the street is a beautiful experience that she hadn't previously encountered. There are private relationships. And then there's Kate McKinnon and Jackie Abbott. Not much is known about their personal life and they both appreciate the privacy. They attended the 2017 Primetime Emmys together, where McKinnon won Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for her work on Saturday Night Live. As of 2023, they're still happily together, keeping their relationship away from the spotlight. Raven Simone and Miranda Perman Madej have chosen to keep many details about their relationship private. However, Perman Madej shared on their YouTube channel that they first met at a gay bar in West Hollywood during a karaoke night around 2015. In June 2020, they pleasantly surprised fans with a wedding in Debbie Allen's backyard. They both have aspirations to start a family together in the near future. Jane Wagner and Lily Tomlin truly deserve applause for breaking the Hollywood stereotype of short-lived relationships in the entertainment industry. They have defied the odds, staying together for an incredible 50 years and getting married in 2013. Their love is not only romantic, but also a creative partnership with Wagner writing most of Tomlin's iconic characters and comedy specials. Jennifer Shane and Jane Lynch Former Glee star Jane Lynch and Jennifer Shane reconnected around 2016 after dating in the early 2000s. This time, their relationship was much smoother as they had both grown and evolved as individuals over the years. According to Lynch, they are now very different people and they no longer have the insecurities they once had they have found peace and harmony in their relationship. Melissa Etheridge and writer Linda Wallen, after 10 years of being close friends, developed a romantic relationship. This happened when Wallen moved into Etheridge's home while she was going through a difficult divorce. In 2014, they tied the knot, cementing their bond and proving that marrying your best friend can lead to one of the strongest marriages, even in Hollywood. Cherry Jones, known for her role in Handmaid's Tale, found love with her neighbor, screenwriter Sophie Huber, who was living on the same Los Angeles property that Jones purchased. Over several years, their friendship blossomed into a full-fledged romance, leading to their wedding in 2015. They are supportive of each other's careers, but currently have no plans to collaborate professionally. Good Morning America anchor Robin Roberts surprised many when she revealed that she had been in a secret relationship with Amber Lane for 10 years, following her successful battle with cancer. The couple prefers to keep their love life low-key and is content with their simple and happy relationship. Roberts had said that they look forward to many more years of love and happiness. Brandi Carlisle, a Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter, met her wife, Catherine Shepard, through activism, and they have been working together to create a positive impact in the world ever since. Through her music and her foundation, Carlisle, with the guidance of her wife, has combined her art with activism, harnessing their hashtag lesbian superpowers to make a difference in people's lives. Beanie Feldstein and Bonnie Chance Roberts fell in love while working on the film How to Build a Girl in 2018, with Roberts producing the movie and Feldstein being one of the stars. Recently, they tied the knot and they shared lovely pictures from their wedding on Instagram. Feldstein expressed gratitude to those who made their dream wedding possible. Niecy Nash Best known as Deputy Rhinesha Williams of Reno 911, surprised fans with her 2020 marriage to singer-songwriter Jessica Betts. Months before this marriage, she had just finalized her divorce with her ex-husband, Jay Tucker. Nisi emphasized that she loves who she loves and has always lived life on her terms. She clarified that it wasn't a coming out, but rather a going into herself. Comedian Fortune Feimser and her partner Jacqueline Smith tied the knot in 2020 after being together for five and a half years. They kept the ceremony small due to COVID-19 concerns, but also because of fears surrounding marriage equality possibly being overturned. 
for the couple, it was essential to solidify their commitment to each other, just like their friends and family have been able to do. Heather Matarazzo, known for her role in Princess Diaries, keeps her relationship with her wife, Heather Terman, very private, and not many details are known about them. Matarazzo proposed to Terman in early 2018, and they got married 10 months later. Despite maintaining their privacy, the couple occasionally shares cute moments on social media, giving fans a glimpse of their happiness together. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to tap the like button, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.